Hello and welcome to everyone tuning in. Today we are embarking on an exciting journey to explore Python, a versatile and powerful programming language that has become a favorite among engineers, researchers worldwide. Python is a high-level interpreted programming language known for its simplicity and readability. Python's design philosophy emphasizes code readability and its syntax allows programmers to express concept in fewer line of codes than in languages such as C++ or Java. Here is the simplest Python program, printing hello world to the console, showcasing Python's straightforward and clear syntax. So why has Python become the go-to language for engineers and researchers? The reasons are many. First, ease of reading and readability. Python's clear and readable syntax allow for quick learning and understanding, enabling engineers and researchers to focus more on solving problems rather than grappling with complex code. Number two, extensive libraries and frameworks. Python offers an extensive selection of libraries and framework that cover a wide range of engineer and research disciplines, from NumPy and SciFy for numerical and scientific computing to Matplotlib and Seaborn for data visualization. Python has a solution for virtually every need. Here is a simple example where we use NumPy to create an array of values and Matplotlib to plot a sine wave, a common requirement in many engineering and research tasks. Number three, community and support. Python's extensive and ever-growing community is another crucial factor. The support and resources available online are immersed, making it easier to find help and learn new things, and also to troubleshoot issues. Number four, versatility. Python's versatility allows it to be employed in web development, data science, artificial intelligence, scientific research, and much more. Additionally, Python can be integrated with other languages and technologies enhancing its applicability and utility. And finally, open source nature. Being open source, Python is freely available and modifiable, promoting collaboration and continuous improvement. In conclusion, Python's simplicity, extensive libraries, robust community, versatility, and open source nature makes it a highly desirable tool for engineers and researchers to develop solutions, conduct research, push the boundaries of innovation. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into Python's basic and explore its application in various engineering and research scenarios in the upcoming segments. By the way, if you are excited to learn more about Python and its application, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated on upcoming videos. Now that we have introduced the wonderful world of Python and understood why it is preferred choice for engineer and researcher, let's dive into the basic of Python programming. In Python, variables are used to store information that can be referred and manipulated in a program. They are created by simply assigning a value to a name. Here x is an integer, y is a float, and name is a string. Python supports various data types such as integer, float, string, and boolean. Python also provides a range of operators allowing you to perform operation on variables. These include arithmetic operator like addition and subtraction, comparison operator to compare values, and logical operator to perform logical operations. In this example, we perform addition and subtraction with arithmetic operator, checked equality using a comparison operator, and used logical operator to evaluate the logical end of two conditions. Moving on, control structures in Python. Like conditional statement and loops allow you to control the flow of your program, let's look at a simple if condition. In this snippet, Python will print 10 is positive as the condition x greater than 0 is true. Python also supports nested condition and various loops like for and while. Here is an example of a for loop iterating over a list. In this example, Python will print the square of each number in the list from 1 to 5. This wrap up our segment on Python basics. I hope this gave you a clearer understanding of Python's variables data types, operators, and control structures. Having covered the basics, it's time to explore how to create functions and use modules and libraries to enhance our Python programming experience. Functions are building block in Python programming. They allow you to create reusable piece of code which can be executed with a simple call. To define a function, you can use def keyword followed by the function name and parameter. Here we have defined a function named greet that takes a parameter name when called, it returns a greeting string. For example, calling greet John would return hello John. Functions can have multiple parameters. 
They can return values, allowing you to use the result elsewhere in your code. They are crucial for writing organized and efficient code. In this example, we define a function add, which takes two parameter and returns their sum. We then call this function with an argument 5 and 3 and store the result. Now let us talk about modules and libraries. A module is a file containing Python code. It can define functions, classes and variables that you can reuse in other Python scripts. Libraries are collection of modules. To use a module or library, you have to import it. For example, if you want to use the math module, we write, after importing the math module, we can use the function and variables like math.sqrt to find the square root of a number. Here we imported the math module and used the sqrt function to find the square root of 25. You can also import specific function from a module or use a nickname for a module to make your code more concise. In the first line, we are importing only the sqrt function from the math module and in the second line, we are importing the numpy module with the name np. So in this section, we learn about functions and modules. I hope you now have a better understanding of how to define a function and import modules and libraries in Python, allowing you for more organized, reusable and efficient code. Now let's venture into specific Python libraries that are essential for engineers and researchers. First up is numpy, a library extensively used for numerical computing. It provides support for array, matrices, and a collection of mathematical functions to perform on these data structures. Here we have imported the numpy library and created a one-dimensional array. Numpy's array operations are vastly efficient and convenient compared to Python's native list. Numpy's power is not just limited to one-dimensional array, it excels in handling multi-dimensional array and performing advanced mathematical operations like Fourier transform and linear algebra operations. In this example, we created a two-dimensional array, a matrix, and used numpy's linear algebra module to find its inverse. Next is sci-fi, which builds on numpy and provides a larger number of functions that operates on numpy array and are useful for different type of scientific and engineering applications. Sci-fi is remarkably useful for optimization, integration, interpolation, eigenvalue problem, and other advanced computation. Here we are using sci-fi's optimize module to minimize a scalar function, yielding efficient result for complex mathematical problems. Here optimize.minimize scalar function takes the objective function as an argument and attempts to find the minimum value of the function within a specified interval. The result of the optimization is stored in the result variable. It will contain information about the optimization process such as the minimum value found, the location of the minimum value, the number of the iteration, and the other relevant details. Last but not least, let's discuss matplotlib, a 2D plotting library which produces publication quality figures in a variety of format. It's incredibly useful for visualizing data and results. In this simple example, we are plotting y equal to x square for x values ranging from 1 to 4. Matplotlib provides extensive control over the properties of the plot and chart, making it customizable for various needs. With Matplotlib, you can create bar graphs, histograms, scatter plot, and much more. With the ability to customize color, legends, labels, essentially every element in your plot. This wraps up our exploration of essential Python libraries for engineers and researchers. These libraries, along with Python's simplicity and readability, makes Python a powerful tool in scientific computing. So now we will discuss about practical examples of data analysis focusing on application in physics and engineering. Now let's talk about data analysis. Data analysis is an important skill for science students, especially in the field of physics and engineering. It's the process of systematically applying statistical and logical technique to describe, summarize, and compare data. Data analysis can help in validating models and hypotheses optimizing process, and drawing conclusions from experimental data. Let's start with data cleaning. In scientific experiment, the collected data might have noise, outliners, or missing values, and cleaning help in refining the data. Using the pandas library, we load our experimental data and remove any rows with missing values, ensuring the accuracy of subsequent analysis. After refining the data, the next step is data processing. Here, we manipulate the clean data to meet our analytical needs. This may involve tasks such as filtering data point based on specific condition 
or transforming values to uncover fresh insights. Here we filter our experimental data to consider only the data point where the velocity is greater than zero, allowing us to focus on specific aspect of our scientific observation. With our data processed and ready, we visualize it to comprehend the underlying patterns and trends, often leading to significant scientific relevations. Visualizing the relationship between time and displacement in the plot help in intuitive understanding and can potentially reveal any discrepancy or validation in our theoretical models. Now let's explore some advanced physics concepts and libraries that are particularly beneficial for students, researchers and professionals in science and engineering. Advanced Python concepts like decorators and generators enable more efficient and clean code. Decorators allow you to add functionality to an existing object without modifying its structure. Generators are used to iterate over a large dataset without loading the entire dataset in memory. Here, my decorator is the simple decorator that's modifying the behavior of the say hello function, showing its potency of decorator in enhancing function's functionalities. Moving on, let's talk about some advanced libraries and framework that are foundational for research and engineering. TensorFlow, for instance, is a permanent library for developing machine learning and deep learning models. In this snippet, we are using TensorFlow to create a simple sequential model. This is a foundation step for developing sophisticated models for predicting, classifying, and clustering data in various scientific and engineering domains. Another notable framework is Django, which is widely used for web development, allowing the integration of complex backend logic with databases seamlessly. This example demonstrates defining a simple view in Django that returns a hello world response. Such framework enable the development of integrated web application serving various functionalities in scientific research and engineering solutions. We have just came the surface of the advanced realm of Python in this segment. Advanced concept and libraries in Python open up all the possibilities in research, analysis, development, and much more for professionals. Let's recap what we discussed in this video. We began our exploration understanding why Python is a preferred language for engineers and researchers due to its simplicity, versatility, and extensive library support. We then dived into the basics of Python, discussing variables, data types, operators, and control structures, laying a strong foundation. Post that, we explore functions, modules, and how to import libraries to extend Python's functionality. Our journey progressed into learning about specialized libraries like NumPy for numerical computing, Sci-Fi for advanced computing, and Matplotlib for data visualization. We also applied our learning in a practical data analysis example, demonstrating data cleaning, processing, and visualization technique using Python. And finally, we touched advanced Python concept, exploring more sophisticated libraries and frameworks like TensorFlow, which enable us to work on integrate and advanced projects. For those seeking more advanced knowledge in Python, the official Python documentation and W3 schools are a great starting point. If you found this video helpful and enjoyable, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more great content. Feel free to leave your thoughts and questions in the comment and share this video with your friends and colleagues. Keep learning, stay curious and I'll see you in the next video and we'll explore the endless possibilities of Python.